Hi, hi guys. Um, we're sitting back down with like a more beauty style video because I went to Sephora and I picked up the entire Fenty Beauty thing that just came out. I'm wearing the Pro Filter Primer and the Pro Filter Foundation in shade 210. I believe that it could possibly be a little too dark now that it's oxidized, but I feel like it's like a good shade that like kind of matches my body compared to like the other shades because like that's the problem is like your face is not always the same shade as your body and I know I'm jumping straight into this video because I really don't want to like loiter too long but with that being said I did film a story time that's going to be coming up next and it's going to be my experience as a Postmates driver for a day and then the video after that is going to be a uh, NYX Beauty um, review because I went to the NYX Beauty party anyway <clears throat> I have my little receipt here just that I could get the um, like prices of everything. So I picked up my shade in the two powders, which is banana and cashew, and they were both $32 each. And then I picked up a brightening shade and my shade that matches my foundation, which is 210 and 190 and these are each $26. So I did not get the um, sponges or the brushes or anything because I don't use those. I use my beauty blender and I used it for my foundation so we're gonna jump right into that and then I've also oh you guys a lot of you said to like zoom into my face a little more so I decided to get a different lens that zooms very close to my face so hopefully this is what you guys want however I look like an old person. I really need under eye filler. I'm really over this line right here. I really really want under eye filler. I want um, to get veneers because braces was just not enough. My teeth are chipped and so um, due to the fact that they're chipped they will always look like that. They always kind of look a little tilted just because they're chipped. Um, I hate that because all four of my front teeth are all chipped and it really really bothers me and they said that they can file it down to even it but if they did that it'd be a lot of like it'd be really short and I just I don't know if I like that. Um, I also want to get lip filler. I want to get um, half a syringe in my bottom and a full in my upper, so we're possibly going to be doing that. I'm not really sure in the upcoming days. But I have my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Mirror that I'm going to be using to like get close. And then if anyone's wondering, I use this Impressions Vanity Mirror that like it just sits right here. And then I also have my computer screen up which shows what's on the camera so that's what I look at myself in the monitor and I also have a diva ring light supernova um, just in case you guys wanted to know what my setup was like and then I of course have my white backdrop and that's about it I'm not really sure if you guys care to know what my setup is like but that is it I went and got like brushes for the powder because you're not supposed to use a beauty blender you're not supposed to like press it into your skin according to the internet so that's the tea um, I didn't look at anyone else's reviews just because I don't want to see what anyone else has to say and I don't want my video to like sort of mimic theirs. So I haven't watched any reviews on this, although I wish I did so that I knew like what to get. But I did look it up online. It says apply with the powder puff setting brush to set foundation, concealer, and contour. I did read all over the internet that you're really not supposed to like bake. But um, this is what the packaging looks like. This one is banana. Um, this one's, th banana is supposed to be universal for all, but I don't really know if that's like true. And then this is what the packaging looks like on cashew. They're the same. Cash, oh, okay. Cashew does look a little too dark for me, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. But um, then the packaging for the concealers, which is what everyone is probably here for, well, I feel like no one really clicked on my video for this because there's probably thousands of others, but I'm hoping you're all here to see me. Um, this is what the concealers look like. I think they're glass, just like the um, primer and the contour. Not the contour, the foundation. She, well, she does do contour, actually. Yeah, she does. She doesn't do bronzer, which hopefully she does. And I hope she does blush because I don't like blush. The only blush I like is in this um, $155 Tom Ford summer set that expired, not expired, uh, discontinued last year, um, that I just got, so hopefully that works. So basically, okay, I already have my face moisturized, primed, and foundationed, and eyebrows. 
uh, my eyebrows are prominent. I'm, I need to get my eyebrows done like so bad and so my eyebrows are kind of like not that cute. And I just got out of the shower so my hair is kind of still a little wet so ignore that. But we're gonna do this side with 210, this side with 190, and then we're gonna do the brightening shade with the 190 and the regular shade with the 210. Hopefully I remember all that. Yeah. Hopefully I remember. Okay. So I'm just gonna like go in how I normally would do it, which isn't really a lot so far. I kind of like the applicator. I really, I normally use shape tape and that's it. So this is 210 over on this side. And I normally will just do like two little flicks that I later like would blend out. And I do like a little bit on the nose and then I will do a little bit up here. So I'll do 210 on the bridge of my nose and then I'll do 210 down here where I would normally put that, but then I'll do 190 up here. Now I did break out right here, so I'm gonna use 210 for my breakouts because um, I am gonna use 210 for anywhere that I'm broken up because it's my shade for that. So anywhere that I see a little bit of redness, I am gonna use 210 just because it's meant for that so hopefully that's hopefully, hopefully it works i'm hoping this is my shade because the foundation might be a little too dark due to the oxidizing so i'm hoping that this is my shade but it's very creamy is what i've noticed um i wish that i wasn't so shiny i'm kind of like really shiny right now and I'm actually not sure why because I have dry skin like I have combo to dry skin which I know is like not good for Fenty Beauty foundation because it dries but my whole face looks really mattified except where I put the concealer like does anyone else notice that my face looks so matte except for where I put the concealer so I'm not really sure why that's the case actually but you guys see that too, right? I'm not crazy. I mean, I might be crazy, but I'm not crazy. Huh. I mean, it kind of is really pretty, actually. Maybe my light is just a little too bright. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm just gonna blend the stuff that's on my forehead and the stuff that I put over here on the this. I'm kind of getting used to, like, filming more, like, laid back so I'm sorry if it's like not that great <laughs> I haven't filmed a beauty video in like a month so the tea is that I'm I haven't filmed a beauty video in a month but I'm not gonna do any like sort of glam I'm gonna do very natural because that's what I normally would do oh I just went out of focus for a second I would like normally do natural so I'm not gonna do like any glam but I'm not going to go, oh, that's 210, I'm not going to go 190 on this side just because that's what I said I was going to do. But um, yeah, no, I have not filmed a beauty video in over a month, so it's kind of like weird to be around again. Let's just like ooh, go in the forehead. I like this color on me. I kind of like that it's like zooms in like this actually, like low key. But I'm really hoping that this works out. I'm probably not gonna keep all of the items I bought because like I don't need this many settings or this many like setting powders. I almost said setting sprays. Um, if the two concealers work out, I'll probably keep both of them because I want like a replacement for shape tape that's like less full coverage, that's like more medium coverage. Ooh, I kind of like the brightening shade. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of want to see how it wears and, like, works for me. I keep, like, tilting downwards, so... Okay, so, you know how I said it's really shiny? When I go over here, it's not as shiny. Now, it kind of hid the creasing under my eyes, but it didn't hide the line that I hate. <laughs> I hate this line. This line right here, I will pay any sort of money to get rid of it. I think I need under eye filler. I think that's what that is. I think Jaclyn Hill talked about it. Ooh, that blended so easily. You know, some concealers, like, they dry down so quickly that it's, like, hard to find concealers that, like, don't dry down that fast. Now, I am gonna do a check-in. Probably, I might, I'm gonna do at least one, but I might do a few. So, okay. 
I'll face the camera even though I hate this side of my face just because my eyebrow is not as good and um, I broke out right here. So looking at myself in the mirror, I look more oily on camera than I do in person. And I'm wondering if that's because my light is too bright. Let me let me actually check. Let me check. Shh. So now that my light is like less bright, I look less oily. But now I kind of look very like I still look only shiny where I put the concealer. Does anyone else notice that? I'm gonna turn the light back up. Does anyone else notice that I only look oily where I put the concealer? Yeah, I wonder if that's because it's not set yet. Let me let me set it real quick. Okay, so where am I putting? The shades, so I believe that Cashew is the non-brightening shade and Banana is the brightening shade. You can kind of tell just because of how bright Cashew and Banana are. So I'm going to, oh, oh there's something in the box right here. Oh my god, this is so beneficial. Okay, wait, this is so beneficial. So this one is like this thing that like blocks the powder from going everywhere. Because, like, once you peel... Wait. It's so zoomed in that it doesn't actually show anything. LOL. Um, once you peel this off, it's kind of, like, really messy. So, this just, like, goes right in and, like, snaps into place so that it doesn't, like, make a mess. So, that's actually really good. I'm so glad to see that, actually. Like, low-key. Oh, and then this is, like, a foam... This is, like, a foam cap. It might be for sealing, but, like, that's great because I'm gonna be pouring it onto this. I'm, like, noticing that, um, it does, it's not showing anything because it's so zoomed into my face. But I'll be right back after I pour these onto the caps just because I feel like I'll be here forever if I'm not. I just got it all over myself. Cute! So I didn't buy the brush because I didn't think about it, but I'm going to actually use the banana powder under my eyes, and I'll use this smaller Morphe R14 brush for under my eyes, and since I'm going to be using cashew all over my face everywhere else, I'll use the BH Cosmetics in two. These might be too dark for me, I'm not actually sure. This one, this, the cashew definitely looks too dark for me, but um, banana doesn't. Banana looks kind of good, so we'll see. I'm going to just like dip in the cashew, uh, and then tap off the excess Oh, there was a lot of excess. And then just, like, go all over my face. Fuck. This is, like, really dark, actually. That's a no. That ain't it. Whoa. This looks like a bronzer. How do I get rid of it? This side doesn't look as bad. I think it's because I went directly in on that side. Whoa. Yikes. Okay. That is the tea. I don't even know. Oh, whoa, my hair. Okay. Fuck. I don't even know if, like, I want to ever use that shade again. That side looks good. I look like a baboon. Can I, like, dial it down? Oh my god. Okay, this side looks like tanned. And this side, I look like a fucking orange baboon. I wonder if that's my fault or like not my fault. <gasps> no, I love this jacket. This is sad. Okay, give me a second. I'll be right back, guys. I will be right back. I need to clean the jacket. Okay, so like the tea is that I can't get it off the jacket until I wash it, and I really hope it washes off because I love this jacket, and so this is this is really sad. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with banana on the smaller brush, and I'm definitely tapping off the excess. Like, look at the excess. Can you guys see that? It's all over me now. Why did I do that? This is from the chair. Can we just, like, discuss why I will not be wearing, like, my favorite clothes anymore while I do videos? Anyway, let me just, like, press the banana under my eye. Oh, yeah, this one's a lot more my shade. Oh, it smells weird. Wait. This smells really good, actually. I don't know what it smells like. 
but it smells really good. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe JH01 and just gently like brush my whole face to make sure that it's set and then nothing is on it except for my baboonness. And <sighs> guys, I am worried. And it happens to be on my better side too. Oh no, I really don't like this. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and then be back with a check-in in like a few hours just to see how my face sets. But first, let me actually tell you what I like about it now. So, okay. I'm gonna ignore this side just because I look like a freaking orange baboon's bottom. But this side, even though this is my worst side because of the breakouts from me sleeping, looks really good like even this part like looks so mattifying and then this part it my face feels really smooth too like it feels set it looks really good there's almost no creasing it hid the line did anyone else notice that the second i put on the second i put on the powder on oh never mind it doesn't if I go like this from this angle, I can't see it in a mirror. But if I look in the the monitor, I can. However, it does dull it down a bit. I don't see any creasing. And I'm like, it feels smooth and nice. Like, my face feels nice. My under eyes look really bright and, like, good. And this portion of my face looks, like, tan. But, like smooth and like good this portion of my face looks like I got punched in the face with a red baboon bottom but we're ignoring that we're gonna ignore that we're just gonna look at this side because this side looks really good so I'll be back in a second with like a check-in and then we'll see how it goes okay so it's about an hour later I'm in a little bit of different lighting I am now in like the non LED lighting we Specifically made the bedroom non-LED lighting because um, LED lighting messes with your sleep because I mean it's blue rays and not um, Red and or I think it's like red, uh, but yeah, so the tea is So far I love the way I look minus the orange baboon section right here So if I look over here, I love it I thought I was gonna end up returning some of the products that I bought but I'm using all new products today so I'm using the Fenty concealer or the the Fenty primer the Fenty foundation I love it I look like I went on vacation and I'm mattified and it's not too drying um I am wearing the Galactic brow pencil which I also love I've never used that before only use Anastasia I'm wearing the Fenty concealer and the Fenty setting powder now the tea is that I went too much right here with the dark, with the mattifying shade, and it made it orange. So ignore this. If I go to this side, this part looks really nice. Like, I mean, to me, it looks really nice. It looks, like, matte, like, a nice, like, shade. Maybe it's a little too dark, but, like, it's, like, nice. If I tried maybe, um, honey, it might work better. I'm not sure. Maybe I should try honey. If you guys think I should try honey, let me know. But, um... My under eyes still feel so smooth. There's not a lot of creasing. Like, this is just natural. That's never going to go away unless I get under eye filler. This line and that won't go away. Um, but it looks, like, smooth and, like, mattified. And it feels nice. But I might end up keeping it and then using the dark, the regular concealer around my face for, like, here and here and, like, my pimples and then using the brightening for under my eye and then using the brightening powder for under my eye and the rest for my face kind of like I did but like slightly different um because I like both of the concealers now remember that the regular concealers over here and the brightening concealers here however the brightening powders on both of them so I might end up keeping all of it that's the tea I don't know but I'll check in with you guys in like a few hours after I've like cleaned and cooked and eaten and like done things other than just like walk around and clean my beauty room so we'll like check in in like a little bit i hope that this jacket isn't ruined because it's my favorite jacket so 
We'll find out. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, so I did like a mini check-in. It is now <clears throat> 12 o'clock, and I started filming this at 5. So this has been on for seven hours. Um, surprisingly, it looks pretty damn good. Like, if I'm looking at myself in the mirror, this side is still extremely orange because I went directly on with the product. But my under eyes, they haven't really creased at all. And I've just been, like, editing and, like, eating and... Right here, a little bit, I should have applied more because it's starting to be really patchy. I've also noticed that um, a foundation doesn't stick to my nose. And I noticed that while editing photos for my Galactic campaign that you guys will see soon. But foundation does not stick to my nose. I'm looking at my nose right now and it does not stick to my nose at all. So I kind of want to try it like without primer. Putting, um... What did, what did James Charles recommend again? It was putting concealer all over his nose before putting on foundation to see if, um, that way if it comes off, it'll still be there. Like, foundation does not stick from here and then a little bit around here. So I need to do that. Also, it didn't stick in this area right here, but that's probably because I didn't put any concealer down here. Like, I put it, like, here. Oh, yeah, I did, actually. I just didn't, like, stretch it out all the way. But, um... I mean, my face is still really smooth. The rest of my face, other than this general area, because foundation doesn't stick that well there, the rest of my face looks really good. I actually love it, other than this. Like, this is probably the only part I don't like. So, I do not plan on returning any of this, actually. I love these two shades. I kind of want to get another, I want to get maybe like 170, because that's the warm tone shade, Um, because I have 210 and 190. Um, and as well as I want to get Honey, just because, is Cashew too dark for me? Maybe. Is Banana good? Yes, Banana is really good for my under eyes. However, Cashew might be a little too dark for me. I do want to play around with it a little more before I make that decision. So you guys might see an updated video in the future over the next week or so. I do want to like test it with different foundations because I never wear the Fenty foundation. I usually wear La Mer or Too Faced. So I want to test the concealer a little more. I want to test the powder a little more. I want to test the powder with other concealers. I want to test the concealer with other powders. And when I get that consensus, I'll probably do an updated video in about a week or two. But I do really like all the products right now, and I don't plan on returning any of them. Which is shocking, because I thought I was going to return at least one of the powders. I thought that one of the powders wasn't going to work, so I thought I'd end up returning it. But as of right now... Oh, by the way, this is also, like, prone to fingerprints. But, um, I don't know if that matters to you. Anyway, as of right now, I am going to play with it a little more before I decide on returning any of the products, so... With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. My second channel is actually up. I have not promoted it yet. It is Christian Aaron Vlogs. I'll link it down below. My Instagram is Christian Aaron and everything else is Christian T. Aaron. So thank you so much for watching this video and for giving me a second chance and for supporting me. I love you guys so much. Thank you. I love you icons. Bye.